Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Before this guide of Mirage Perfect Skyline begins, make sure to check out the mice. It has very cool clothing with good quality uh, material. Uh, you can check it down in the description, Incredible J with all caps, uh, for a 10% off. And it's uh, limited, so yeah, let's get right into the guide. If my webcam disappears uh, or the game goes black, I'm sorry, I'll try to edit it out. Uh, but the game is very buggy on blue stacks. So this guide will be uh, friendly to both people who pay a little, pay a lot, or pay nothing. So for the people who pay, I want to address that you should only pay during events, which has a wheel uh, that gives you multiple X uh, your yaid uh, purchased. And this yaid only counts in here. Like if you pay yaid in another event, that won't count uh, for the single purchase wheel thing. If you're paying, you also don't get a lot of good value for doing larger purchases. I advise doing several small ones over a longer period of time. Let's say I did one dollar a day, just a dollar. Let's say that's turned into a month, thirty dollars. That is eighteen hundred yade guaranteed. Then you multiply that by two because you always get sixty yade. So let's say thirty six hundred yade. Then let's say that 15 out of the days you get uh, an additional 2.5x yaid. So you get around, let's say, 5,000 yaid for doing $30. Instead of paying nearly $100. So yeah, let's talk about the free-to-play because the majority of you want to be free-to-play and you can do well in this game fully free-to-play. So during events there's typically a 2x event for different systems uh, and you should only use extra attempts while there is a 2x event uh, and uh, throughout the game through free to play events you do get uh, potions such as these uh, you can use up to 10 potions uh, a, a day uh, so let's say there was a boss layer uh, boss layer uh, boss layer uh, I currently have the elite one but yeah, let, let's say that, you, that you're doing boss lay, right? Uh, you can just use potions for extra attempts. Uh, and you should only do this during a 2x event, because then every single boss is dropping 2x loot, so you essentially get two times the rewards. So let's say you did six attempts, you get rewards equivalent of 12 attempts. And the same goes for world boss, you should always save the world boss potions uh, for, when there is, uh, for when there's a double event. As for dungeons, like I only advise doing all the attempts every single day for Peregrinus Vault because that is worth it. You do get a very good amount of Psyche, so I do advise purchasing max attempts uh, for Bound Yade every single day. Uh, and another thing that I advise buying extra attempt, if you're a VIP level I suppose, uh, is uh, doing uh, the Ascend Boat. Uh, but obviously if you're not a VIP you cannot really buy extra attempts. Uh, and uh, when there is a 2x event in boat, you can do use up to 5 boat tickets. So make sure to always have 5 boat tickets at hand for when there is a 2x event. You get 1 boat ticket every single day uh, from doing your daily quests. Uh, so just over, over the course of 5 days, you should have 5 boat tickets. And there are events giving even more of them. And so yeah, just make sure to have at least 5 boat tickets on you at all times. Uh, I usually just store them uh, in here. I currently have an extra one, but you get the idea. Later in the game, mortal training will not be super experience efficient, but uh, enjoy it while you can if you're early game, because it does give you quite a bit of experience. So kind of the gist of doing all the dailies is just doing uh, the bosses uh, from world server when you unlock that, and uh, the single, the, this boss if you combine that along doing this, which is which you can just purge, you don't even have to enter them once you have three started them one time, and you also do team, which you cannot blitz or purge or anything, merge. You can merge, but yeah, you cannot do this super quickly, but they take only like a minute or two every day. Uh, so, uh, and you combine that with like uh, giving people stroke once you're at 30, uh, 30 daily activity. Like it's very easy uh, if you know what to do to get 200 activity in this game for the boat ticket. Uh, it's, it's also very all listed here. Uh, so Escort Ferry, I, ex I, I would recommend doing this during a 2x event if you're not able to be on during a 2x event, which you can also see here, the in-game times for different events, uh, then you just do it without a 2x event. But it's obviously recommended to do in 2x event because this gives a lot of experience. 
Uh, bird boss, kind of whatever. I haven't done that too much today. Experience praying is never worth it. <laughs> uh, that's cast non-bound Jade, so yeah, it's just never worth it. And uh, let's see here, Dragon Temple. This is you just blitz Dragon Temple. Bounty quest is very easy. Uh, it takes uh, only like five minutes, ten minutes. Ascend boat, as we talked about, that's experience boss layer. That's gear. Uh, and you may be wondering, okay, well, uh, I'm sitting with uh, a full three star set. Uh, red red gear of uh, grade five. Uh, should I uh, and and I'm not strong enough to do grade six bosses. Uh, then I obviously recommend uh, getting power. <laughs> Just get good, man, kitty. Then I could recommend upgrading uh, these items: uh, the bangle, the ring, the necklace. Uh, you can do this with infusion, and you can do this with an F craft. And you can go over to advance, and you can purchase these items for Psyche. Uh, obviously, it will let, require less materials the lower lower level you are, and you can go from grade ten to grade eleven. And uh, this costs renown, which you also do get a lot of daily by doing arena and just playing the game. Essentially, it, you do get a good amount of it. Stirring this up, I think that's more of a paid win thing. Sanified, you it's kind of a paid win thing as well. Upgrading them is not something you have to worry about because that's also definitely a pay to win thing. Then we look over to the gear crafting system. Uh, you will notice that it requires more and more two star gears to make it three star. So let's say I went over to grade six, uh, that requires three pieces. Then I went to grade seven, requires three pieces. Then I go to grade eight, requires four pieces. And it requires four pieces at least until grade 11. Then it requires four pieces and then Again, just four pieces. So at grade eight, it requires more gear, uh, but it's obviously worth it. I never recommend trying to do it do it with an 80% success rate. You can do this with three pieces, uh, but to my experience and from what I've heard about heard from people, it usually fails. So you just lose all of the gear. So I always recommend doing this when it's at 100%. Now let's say that you have gotten a little bit further into the game. Uh, you already have uh, you have grade nine three star pink gear, uh, and you're doing uh, and you're considering okay well because at grade nine uh, four star gear is unlocked and you can see it's clearly very good. If we look at the individual item, this gives six hundred and three k power versus. A great 10 3 star, which gives 499k. So it gives around a little bit more than 100k extra power, which in turn, with all the multipliers at pro your probably probable combat power, will be around 300k power per item. Uh, that's that's quite a bit. Like uh, a full set would give you around 2.7 million more combat power, which is which is pretty good. Uh, but what I what I recommend is. Once you have uh, pink, uh, pink grade nine stuff, three star, I would just work on three star uh, Desio, uh, grade ten gear, and then I would save up a lot of the Genesis Rodonite, which is which is the material you need to make things pink, and uh, you also save your grade nine gear. It's bound. You can't, It's locked. It's it's bound. Like you can either do it for Primus activation, which is not recommended. Always just use one star red for Primus activation. Uh, then you can combine uh, grade 9 4 star uh, with 9 Genesis Road Knights. Because you need uh, 3 pieces plus 1. So I guess you need 12. Do you need 12? I guess, yeah, maybe, yeah, you need you need a lot of, Gen you need a lot of Genesis Road Knight. Because most likely, unless you're a big whale, you will never have a full set of 4 star pink gear unless you make it your life's mission. To do that, uh, so yeah, then you can replace a grade ten gear with a uh, with a grade nine gear, and you can dismantle the grade ten gear to get five Genesis Road Knight back. So you technically only need a seven. You need seven Genesis Road Knight. So you can actually combine grade nine stuff. Uh, personally, as a personal choice, I'll just keep with grade ten and work on grade eleven uh, because it's just a big hassle to go down in grades. Uh, but when I do grade 11, I will work on uh, probably Forza grade 10. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of how gear works. I have these settings uh, for this me for melting stuff. Just melt everything that you can. Always just launch things in not your class. You do get a lot of uh, you do get a lot of psyche from this over time. 
uh, and people are also selling a lot of things. Uh, typically what I do is I follow the gear that I'm looking for. Like the gear I am obtaining in dungeons or I'm looking for in dungeons is the gear that I follow. So I am following this. Uh, I'm following uh, most of the grade most of the grade 11 gear. I'm also following uh, Genesis Road Knight, Genesis Crystal. Uh, and I'm also following the shard. So then you will get a notification that, oh, well, this item you're following has been added to your listing. Oh my God, yes. I'm getting a lot of psyche from just selling stuff. So it's a very valuable thing to just place a lot of stuff you're not gonna use in the market. So if you're considering buying stuff, uh, if you're considering to buy a few things, there are some things that I don't recommend buying, which I did. <laughs> it is buying these things these things you will see a god demon button here kind of okay maybe the first tier is okay but it's genuinely not i don't honestly i don't think it's worth it at all like for me i haven't had a lot of it it does give a good combat power but it's not worth the money for a person who pays a little bit these packs kind of they're they're pretty good like the pack i've enjoyed buying is this one so yeah, they're okay, they're okay. I don't know where they will end, but uh, you can kind of see how much I've paid on a VIP 8, so yeah. Uh, if you're doing $1 a day or whatever, uh, it doesn't even matter. I, I do recommend both of these, these ones. This also gives just a very, very large amount of power, so that can also be something you're slowly saving towards uh, if you if you want to do that. I also don't recommend selling like uh, this and a lot of things until you have used it. As for skills, they're not super vital. Like they barely give any power. Obviously, if you have the goal to it, and you will most likely have the goal to always keep them upgraded until you reach a certain point. Yeah, sure, you can just upgrade them, but uh, they're not a big uh, you. They're not a very big thing for combat power, at least. Then you have talents. Uh, you can kind of choose whichever talents you want. I found the assist talent uh, to be the most useful for me. You do unlock this at my peak level, minus, minus, minus 96 and 62. So yeah, you do unlock uh, talents uh, at some point, uh, but early game, we will not see this tab. Uh, but yeah, like this as a chance to silence people you you take fatal damage and you survive it and stuff like that. So this is kind of how I have it built. Uh, you can have it built however you want. These things right here does give you a lot of combat power. That's why I've upgraded them. Uh, and I'm currently working on this to increase damage to bosses and uh, to players. So you simply just do that and there we go. As for mounts, uh, I do like upgrading the outfits to their max skill level. So yeah, let's say this is grade 10, you unlock this at grade 10. Uh, with mythical or red pets, uh, you do actually, uh, let's see, you do actually have the grade 15, uh, grade 15 skill, which is very good, like attack bonus, it's percentage is insane. And uh, so yeah. And uh, other than that, like just upgrade your main mount, there's no sense uh, there's there's literally literally no sense in upgrading costumes beyond uh, what the skill they give. Then later on you will unlock incarnations. I would recommend leveling everyone up until the max uh, pulse skill because uh, that gives uh, good stats as well. So I'm actually fairly close here. I will uh, I will unlock this today actually. And then as for advancing, I'm just trying to upgrade the one with the lowest percentage. Like uh, it doesn't it doesn't matter terribly much. Uh, here I get like because uh, this is at uh, like the passive skills are upgraded by stars and so advanced you can just upgrade whichever and this will give you the bloodline three which will give you quite a bit of stats over time like if I click here and look at details you can kind of see uh, what I've unlocked so far but it's it's not a very insanely large combat power giver then you have star up, obviously using copies or using universal things, kind of whatever. Then transition, you get uh, these uh, from world boss and then you can just dismantle them and whatever. Then you have trial, you won't unlock this for a while. Uh, I ju just use the recommended ones. I do the psyche version, you can kind of switch between using Yade, gold and psyche, I think. And uh, Yade is um, expensive, so no. Then you have occult. 
I just try to upgrade everyone equally. Uh, you get these trigrams uh, from uh, Royal Treasure Hunt. So you get it from Divination, and you just argue, you get these tickets every day from uh, one of the single player dungeons, which you just purge. Dragon Treasure, it's kind of self-explanatory, I wouldn't spend the Bounty Aid or anything on it. You get one every now and again for free, and you get one during an event, which does the insane mode for the, for the Dragon Lair thing. Uh, it's called... Yeah, Dragon Temple. Sometimes there is an inside mode where you can't purge, but it's exactly the same dungeon. You beat it, and uh, yeah, you get uh, these things in return. Uh, these are also kind of pay to win things, kind of whatever. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about them. I did actually finish one of them. It was a very expensive adventure. Here, you do get this from doing the Sarike event every day. It's a simple system, PvP system, where you... It's kind of like capture the flag. Uh, you can just AFK it. Um, there's a 50, technically a 50-50 between winning and losing, depending on which team you are on. Uh, I am unfortunately very unlucky and I'm on the losing team uh, like 90% of the time. And then you also have this, which you will not unlock for a while. Uh, it's just for your war soul, uh, which is here, this button here. And um, yeah, it, it's self it gives a lot of power. It's kind of like the the um, it's it's kind of like this except not but it's it's kind of like this but except not it's, it's kind of like this but except not so yeah and uh, then you obviously have this system uh, which actually just unlocked today for me so this is not gonna happen for a long time for you I don't know if it's worth it or not um, I haven't thought about it I think I think it would be worth it because if that's a base rating of three seventy eight k this this year will give me 1.5 million combat power at least it will give me at least 1.5 million maybe even closer to to 2 million power uh so yeah if you if you can afford it i guess so what's useful in the psyche or is there something you should be buying every day uh, well if you have uh let's see here if you have these available uh, and they are used, you can just see for yourself if they're used to craft a uh, bangle, ring, and a uh, necklace uh, in the Renown shop. If you can buy them, sure, buy them. Uh, but obviously don't buy them if you can't use them for anything. But I think they're always useful, so yeah. But yeah, kind of just, if you see you're close to going to another grade, sure, do it. Because uh, the grades are kind of level capped. Like you have to be a certain level to wear a certain amount of gear. I think for grade 12 gear, I have to be level 160. 160 peak, I think. Or if that's grade 13. So yeah, just make sure that you don't upgrade it beyond your own level. Because then you will have a problem. Another thing, if you this is if you're paying, these are worth buying. Uh, this is for... Uh, uh, these systems right here, uh, you can you can purchase. Uh, yeah, I can I look at it. Well, you you can purchase this. I think it's worth it. It gives a ton of combat power, so I definitely were. It's definitely worth it in my opinion. You can buy it for wings. You can buy it for arm. You can buy it for not arms. You can buy it for sword spirit and cape. Cape, however, it will be a while until you can do anything with the cape because it requires peak one. 30 or one four peak 130 to upgrade that stuff so yeah after level 400 you do get to transcend trial and you go into peak level one and so on and so forth this is something uh, i should focus on no not that sorry 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 uh this for seller's right you can i do recommend getting democrat uh, sets for your uh bangle and ring and stuff like that so let's take a look at sets what are sets so Sets does give you a good amount of power, uh, and the higher sets, the better it is. But uh, it requires more and more stuff. And the higher grade gear you have, the more you need, in a way. Like the more the more pieces you need. You need more Democrat. You need more Celos, right? For a higher grade. Like if I had grade eight gear, I probably could do Div right right now on most of them. So just a little bit of a thing. But Celestial is, is a very good thing to go for. It, it takes a while to grind up to it. Uh, you get these items from uh, Nephilim Land. 
Then you have pets. You can uh, get uh, epic pet eggs from Boss Lair Elite. You can spend Psyche, as far as I know, to enter Boss Lair Elite, even though you're no VIP. VIP, but don't quote me on that because I'm not fully sure. And then you get uh, pets and uh, you can go over to their formation. Obviously, it kind of work however you want. I have, uh, obviously, Mythic Pets does have the most power, so I try to, to do that. And I try to level them kind of equally. My main uh, deployed pet, uh, which is the one you would see here, Incredible John's pet, uh, Evil Vanisher. That's kind of the one I've, I've focused on the most. Uh, if you can look at star up, like he is uh, the highest stars, he is five stars. Then you have advance. Uh, I'm trying to make everyone level 40. Yeah, here I think it's worth just balancing it out, doing everyone at uh, an equal advance. After, for a legendary pet, I would go to advance 15 first before focusing on another pet. Um, but yeah, and then if you have a mythic pet, go to advance 20 before you focus on another pet. Maybe you can do another pet to advance five or something, but um, yeah. And then just uh, upgrade your skills, what you think look good. Like I love this one increases master's crit rate by three percent. This is a good, uh, this is a good passive skill for this guy. So yeah, it's just uh, upgrading the skills kind of equally. Uh, the skills, except like these skills, does uh, like this skill doesn't really do too much. Uh, Penta damage, just, what the frick? Uh, this matters. And uh, yeah, I guess this matters as well. So usually the final, the, the, the final two skills does matter. Like I said, it says uh, increase, evaporate percentage. Yeah, whenever you see percentage, it means it's pretty good. Uh, normally, at least. Then head over to yeah, hatches, whatever. I I I sacrifice uh, or dismantle every pet, even legendary pets. I have I I have a legendary pet. I don't know if she's the best. Uh, but I'm, I'm very happy about about this skill right here, so I'm using her. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of I just sacrifice everything once I have I have my full team. Uh, I if I get the mythic pet, I'll probably sacrifice her too, even though her, her even though this skill here is, is very good. Then you get bonds, they're pretty damn good, uh, but it's difficult to get them. Exclusive, you don't have to worry about this for a very long time. Um, but yeah, it, it gives uh, the pets more power. That's why you don't have to worry about this for a while. Uh, I guess like if you if you cannot use if you have the best already, it won't go into infusion notification, which means you can splice it. So even though oh wow, this is three star orange, this is very good. Like I have above that on every pet or that on uh, in every pet, and you can't fuse this with this to make a red or a four star. So you can just splice it, and um, you just you can quick splice. You can do kind of whatever you want. You need uh, uh, this amount of everyone, and you can just uh, wait. You do like if I did that. There we go, as an example. And then you get items to upgrade your sprite. I kind of just upgrade whatever. It 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 doesn't give too much power, but oh well. Then you have gods. Uh, I do recommend buying the legendary gods if uh, they are available uh, for like a, a top up thing. Uh, you will maybe get them for free over time, but I'm not sure. I paid so. And the red gods, they can actually use. Uh, they can use uh, red godaments, which we will get into. Uh, but yeah, the red, the red, the orange gods is what I use. You unlock more formation uh, for these guys the higher level you are. Then head over to Godaments. Uh, the highest these guys can wear is uh, orange three star. And so because I have everything at red here, it means you could just dismantle all orange stuff. Like if I click dismantle all uh, on my phone at least, it says just dismantle everything orange and below. Uh, but just make sure you have everything at orange tree. Make sure you don't need orange anymore. And then, yeah, here you just um, work. I kind of keep their levels equal. Uh, and I do have 20 grade on all these gods. And I'm kind of working on the purple gods as well. Um, and other than that, once you have the, the maxed out, it's just upgrade your main god. Uh, even though this guy is displayed, it it doesn't matter. It's just a displaying displayment of your god. This you won't unlock for a while. You can get stuff for these things in the Nephilim land. They don't give a great deal of power. The, here you get this from events. I'm not sure if it's just for paying. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, 
I don't know. <laughs> uh, I am playing a little bit too much sometimes. And yeah, you have this, which will also cost real money, so it's kind of up to you whether you want to spend on it. It doesn't give a great deal of power. Like, it gives some power, but not a great deal of power. Yeah, as for wings, uh, you can't upgrade the wing images. Uh, you can only store them up, so it's kind of whatever. So just upgrade your wings normally here. Uh, the middle, yeah, this one gives percentage stats, so that will always give a lot of power. Then you have arms, uh, which is the same. You can transform however, however you want, and you have arms. This takes a long time to level up. You can see this 148, 241, 241, 194. So, uh, yeah, arms is taking a long time to upgrade, so don't worry if, if you feel that's falling behind. That's very normal. You get less of these resources uh, unless you spend real money again. So, yeah, man. And uh, then cape, uh, you can't do any. I can't even do anything with it. The server is not old enough, so just don't worry about cape. Kind of whatever. Then at a certain level, you will unlock switch, which means you can switch your class uh, for twenty dollars. Uh, it's a permanent unlock. Uh, I do not recommend this because all classes is pretty much equal. And then you go over to training. Um, you will be able to claim a lot of stuff. Uh, I always just uh, unlock. Okay, so transcend whenever you can, obviously. Uh, I tend to upgrade Meritans, Meritans or whatever, whenever I ha whenever I'm able. Uh, but it's not like a okay. So because this barely cost any any flash points or what, it barely cost any attainment. Uh, I upgrade techniques. Techniques give a lot of power, so they're worth it in my opinion to buy. Uh, techniques are are worth your money, I think. Then you have pulses. Uh, these will get level locked with your flesh. So I typically just upgrade my flesh a lot until I see that I can do pulses. Then I finish the pulses to as high as it can go. And then I continue to upgrade the flesh and so on and so forth. Uh, Explore Fairlands, kind of whatever. And so, yeah, then you have this. Uh, I don't, I'm not putting a great deal of focus into this, but this does give you a fair amount of power and good skills as well. Uh, but I, I don't place a big focus on it. Then some tips and tricks with uh, Mystic. Uh, I definitely uh, advise trying to just get 3 star red gear uh, for or 2 star red gear. Uh, yeah, finishing these sets is fine. And after level 4 and return transcend, you can dismantle your gear. And uh, yeah, you can get your equipment pieces back to forge. So let's say I had a purple. Uh, the, the, the 3 star gear you get back is random, so make sure that you... So yeah, the three-star gear uh, you've put into fusing uh, a pink thing. If you dismantle the pink gear, it will give you three random three-star gear pieces. So if you're counting on using your main armor as fusing materials to then dismantle, make sure that you have repl a replacement set ready. Because let's say I wanted to make my weapon uh, four-star uh, pink, right? Uh, or... Yeah, let me make a better example than that. Let's say that I dismantle my weapon, I will get three random uh, three-star pieces. Uh, and w and I may not even get the weapon, uh, which means I'd be screwed unless I had an additional weapon or dagger, or whatever you want to call. Yeah, I guess a weapon here. There. So yeah, just, just make sure that you don't use your main sets to where you will miss an equipment piece if you dismantle. Um, that's a good tip. And then, sorry, this is for certain water. Honestly, I'm just upgrading kind of anything, kind of whatever. <laughs> and this system, again, you just upgrade. I just upgrade and ba I'm just balancing everything. It's whatever. You just balance. Just balance everything, man. And here for Warshop, uh, I tend to buy Ballista and Stone Thrower. These are good uh, for doing damages to enemies and, and bosses during certain war, which is once a week on Sundays. Uh, and yeah, if you're ever curious, just look here. It will say every day, every time. Every every event of the week will be here. I think uh, buying the privilege here is worth it. And you can actually do that for 988. So you can just save up uh, doing a $1 purchase a day. But yeah, let's say that you are... Okay, because now we've covered a lot of the stuff. Let's say you are a big spender. Obviously, uh, I don't recommend spending on events which doesn't multiply your Yade uh, obtained. Sadly, I don't have um, this event going on right now, but it will be a wheel. And make sure that you don't spend your Yade before you have spun the wheel, because the wheel will cost the Yade you have input, and you will get back all from 1.1x to 3x. The higher the purchase, uh, the lower the return will be. It will most likely be a 1.1x or 1.2x. 
Typically, if you do a 68 purchase, it will most likely 2.5x or 3x your re in the in the wheel. Again, if you're paid to win, just buy stuff like these. This is good. I If you're paid to win, just buy anything that uh, um, is a permanent upgrade. Any system which gives you a permanent bonus, sure do it. But yeah, just keep in mind that instead of doing $200 in a day, you can rather do... $20 for 10 days, or if you're doing an event which is lasting three days, separate it over the three days instead of just doing a very massive one in one day. Because you usually do lose your value. Like typically events, it's like, oh, you can top up 1288 for the day uh, to get max rewards for that day. And it requires you to do this three days in a row. So you do 1283 days in a row and you get much more rewards than doing 5k or 4k or whatever in just a single day. I also recommend uh, going on the official website of the game, uh, EU game or whatever. Uh, I think that uh, this should be the website for it. And you go into Mirage and you make a payment there for the standard payments of Yade. Because then you don't have to pay the Apple or Google Play tax. So you get your items 20% cheaper usually. Uh, you cannot make, like, if I wanted to to buy uh, something here, which costs, okay, well, this this actually works, but let's say, let's say I wanted to buy this. This will not be an option on the site. You can only do the raw rate Yade purchases on the website, including, including this. And it may take a little bit longer to get your Yade on your account if you do it through the website, but it usually takes around a minute or so. This button will appear uh, when you uh, reach VIP seven. Uh, you can add people on on uh, things, and you they will require you to send your ID and stuff, uh, which you can find in uh, settings, info. But they are requiring you to do at least three thousand yaid purchase, so this is more for the people paying more. Uh, but all their deals is a rip off. Filling up this honestly is worth it. I've just I'm just too impatient to do it, but you, yeah, it's worth it. It's in it's in prey and good fortune. Something else I recommend is always going for this advertisement chest. It, it's a 30 second ad circa and you get 150 bound yaid. So you do get yaid every day. And you not only get yaid from that, but you get yaid for your 200 activity points. So you should be able to free to play, get the yaid, bound yaid you need daily to do 2x, uh, to do max purchases for 2x events. Another thing I forgot to mention in the beginning, exclusive boss always worth buying as many attempts as possible. There's uh, no downside to it. Uh, I never recommend using Bound Yade to retrieve. All this just use gold. Bound Yade is a very big ripoff uh, in the retrieve section. I usually uh, miss a lot of the events during the day nowadays, uh, recently, so I just retrieve everything for gold. I need to get a fair amount of things back. I'm not sure how much you're losing, but um, yeah. If I was to do this with Bound Yade, like, just no, just no. You also get renowned for just uh, signing up for events here, registering for them. It just means that it will give you a notification when the event begins. In game, not outside of game. I don't think you can activate a notification on your f on so that you get a notification out of game for when an event is in game for some reason. As far as I know. Primus, just work on it slowly but surely. It gives power but not a great deal. So yeah. Vista Tome Index doesn't really give a great deal of power. Like 1.5 million. Okay, let's say this gives me 5 to 6 million power. Something like that. For having been playing the game since day one. And uh, doing uh, a lot. And I'm 169 million. So index doesn't really give a lot of power. But it's cool to do it. But I wouldn't put, put a large focus on it. Well, maybe if it fits you. I mean, kind of whatever. Here, I was actually confused uh, by my, myself with this because uh, I, I was using like uh, this for a long time alongside a blue and I'm like, okay, well, how can I get the stronger ones? Do you have to get shards to unlock them? No, uh, these items right here, um, they, they well, it's, it doesn't require, it requires purple and or legendary of one. So here you can see it requires three legendary and two purple. It requires all legendary. Here it requires one mythic and uh, four legendary. Here it requires three mythic and two legendary and so on and so forth. And these drop from uh, Savage Beasts, uh, which you will um, unlock. I guess in Savage Floor 1, yeah. And the server. 
and yeah soon you will just outgrow that and uh yeah you will also yeah we talked about the exclusive stuff and so uh yeah when it comes to the beasts uh if you have three if you have a mythic horn helmet and claw and you have a legendary hoof and saddle you can simply just uh, equip all of them and you can have this activated and so i've been very fortunate to have t uh, two at full mythic the most uh, rare one to that to drop is the claw otherwise i could even i think i could even do this if i just had the claw so <laughs> the claw is incredibly rare for some reason and uh, these dungeons can so also drop these, but I've, I've never seen them before, so I have a feeling they're incredibly rare. And uh, here, unfortunately, you cannot dismantle or de-level items, so uh, usually if I get a better Mythic Claw, or not Claw, but whatever item, I just feed the other Mythic item to it instead of using, because you... Yeah, it's just, it's just a hassle, like you just have to eat the red gear, essentially. Uh, yeah, you can also choose not to and just keep the red gear for whatever else uh, But yeah, if you have red if you have a red horn on three of your things and uh, You uh, uh, an equip one and it's not strong enough to replace the other two uh, red horns You can either I I'm not sure can you even fuse it? I don't know, but I just sacrifice it. I just uh, throw it to the sacrifice Because uh, you I want to level up the new one so if I try level 71 into the into the new one, I'll feed it, it will obviously turn into level 70 or 71. Collection again, kinda doesn't give a lot of power. The current settings I run is this. I don't need to see my own title or other people's titles. I don't need to see everyone's wings or my wings, it's just a big of FPS lag. I don't need to hide other I don't need to see other people's skills. Uh I don't need to see my own cape. I want to have it at a high frame rate mode. I don't care about either flower effect or skill effect. I, if during events where there's a lot of players and there's no PvP, uh, just a lot of players attacking a boss or whatever, I can tend to just hide other player uh, where it's not necessary to see them. I never do hide monster or hide ally. Music and sound for me is obviously off. Now you can choose to add your own VIP level if you don't want people to know if you've paid or not. Um, as for botting, um, uh, during Nether Temple, which you saw on Demon Pagonia, uh, I have this off if I want to push. If we're if you're with the two strongest people in your server and yourself, and you want to increase your mark stage, uh, then I have it off and turn it on for when there is a boss, uh, which is very difficult. Uh, then then you manually turn into a god or transform into a god. Uh, but other, if you don't, ha if you have this automatically, it will just uh, use up your gods on uh, smaller monsters. So it's just going to use them if they're available uh, of cooldown. Another thing to note is that if you're doing Nether Temple, if you're doing Nether Temple, you don't have to do it with people every single day if you don't want to push. You can obviously ask people, hey, do you want to do Nether Temple? But if you're not looking to push your highest, it's not necessary. You can solo it. You can fail and you will get your mark stage rewards. You can help a lower level person and uh, you will uh, lose at a higher level boss than your top. But you, the, the moral of the story, you will always get your mark cleared stage rewards for Nether Temple and Demon Bakoda, even if you, even if you fail. So don't worry, if you want to solo these two, it's fine. You can complete ascend both with two people instead of three. Uh, Bentic Ruins, um, sometimes uh, uh, you want to team with people uh, or they're, they're trying to team with a lower level than you. Uh, so obviously try and do the highest level in the Bentic Ruins. So if someone is peak level 79, they cannot do peak 80. And they're going to request you to do peak level 10 or peak, uh, peak level 10 once, but you get a lower grade gear, so then I would solo it or do it with people which is a high enough level to do it. And again, you can just merge everything. The, I recommend using Bound Yade. I recommend using Bound Yade on, uh, let's see here, per chick tickets, like always just keep some. Uh, and I always recommend using it uh, to buy these, uh, to always just make sure that you have uh, enough offline time. Uh, gaining experience and doing stuff. Uh, more for the Psyche store. Uh, yeah, just buy the gods you can. This honestly probably is worth it, but it's just very expensive. But yeah, just, just, 
yeah, you can see what I've bought and you can uh, take inspiration. So I bought this for Psyche, which is a free to play item. I've bought these items sold out. You can see uh, Craft diverse image. Uh, you can kind of see what I've, I've been working on. Limited store. I honestly, Orange Petag may be worth it. Probably worth it, but I'm not doing it. And then Rarified Yade, and this is... <laughs> you, you need a lot of these, because you gain leveling up materials more than you do breakthrough materials. This is kind of whatever. It's not vital to buy all of, or any of. Placing... Yeah, you can kind of see what I've been doing here. As for the newbie shop, you can kind of see what, I, what I've been doing. Here's more sold out things. Here's more sold out things. I haven't bought like this is this isn't worth it. <laughs> In my opinion, uh, no, just no, no, thank you, no thanks. Probably worth it by the core ones, but uh, well, no thanks. I'm I'm not doing it. It's it's probably worth it for some of them. But I haven't done it. East Louise, that's expensive in, in uh, Renown. <laughs> that's a new mount, right? I think that's what I'm saving for right now. And typically, legendary items does not give percentage stats for whatever. Uh, but mythic items, aka okay, red items, usually do. Just something to keep in mind. Percentage is obviously always the best way to upgrade instead of a flat stat. At some point, your uh, server and guild will knock repress, repress cell. It will say the dam the boss is receiving more thunder damage, and the different bosses will receive more damage from whatever. Then you go over your skills and you go over the advance and you can change your focus. Uh, it costs ten thousand psyche to unlock the second tab and thunder to unlock the third tab, like of choosing. Uh, but you need a certain amount of peak level. Yeah, you you need to you need to comp yeah uh, to unlock all of these three. Like, it requires just leveling up a lot, so even if you're buying a new focus or class focus or whatever, it's kind of whatever. Like, it doesn't mean that you unlock all three uh, until you're a certain level. And the same can also be done for the exclusives on your pet gear. The exclusive pet gear. Passive skills will just unlock over time with fate we can switch. Talents, again, we've talked about. Mate, it's always worth doing uh, this. It doesn't give a lot of power, but it's fun. I mean, yeah, it's cool, but it doesn't give a lot of power. <laughs> Just marry someone, you can marry same gender as well. But you have to be in love in real life to do it, otherwise it won't work. Kidding. <laughs> Always recommend buying just uh, this. Like donating 100k. Renown shop is tied to the guild. Uh, as for training, I just try and balance everything out. As you can see, I'm focusing more on, on the attack side of things. This is something not for you unless you're a guild leader. I'm not sure how it works. Maybe a deputy leader can also do stuff about it. You may wonder if this is worth it. Honestly, it does give a good amount of resources, so sure, why not? Titles and stuff. Gives uh, the amount of power you'd expect. Costumes and stuff. It's fine. It does give power. Uh, but I wouldn't spend a lot of real money for it. Well, it depends. It depends. It depends. On, I mean, it's it's up to you. Uh, but there are better ways to gain combat power than costumes. You can see all your stats here. Just scroll by scrolling down. And you can also read what each stat mean. I always have botting on. Like, I never fight manually. I don't see a point in doing it. Maybe some pe pe people do it, but I haven't met anyone who is playing manually. <laughs> I think it even automatically turns botting on, so yeah. All of this stuff you will just unlock over time, and uh, yeah, this this is a kind of a real money cost system because uh, it requires uh, you to either purchase aid or use the aid to get marks. Uh, maybe you can get them uh, free to play. I'm not sure, uh, but yeah, this you won't unlock for a long time. Just trying about like the majority of the systems, like upgrading here as well uh, from the Nether Temple, which you get these resources from. It's just balancing things out. Like the more things you balance out, the better it is. Uh, just just balance things out. It's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, just just try and balance a lot of stuff. I'm all about balance, and uh, maybe that's why I, I'm so bad. Kidding. Hopefully, I'm not bad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, just just balance things. 
and um, yeah, you got it. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, kind of overall guide of the game. Uh, hopefully you took some information. Hopefully you will take some of the advice. Obviously, this is just this, many of these things is just my opinion. Is it the right opinion? That's I leave up to you. So make sure to check out the mice. It's pretty cool, man. It's a pretty cool clothing collection. And uh, I will talk to you guys in another video.